NLC denies withdrawing from nationwide protest. <laughs> yeah, I think they're saying that they cannot, there's no way they can withdraw from a protest that they are not the organizers, that they did not organize. So it means that they are in support of the protest and that we definitely participate in the protest. After all, who are the people suffering the hardship? They are, they are labor members now. Okay. So the Nigerian Labor Congress has denied the reports that it has withdrawn from the planned nationwide protest against economic hardship scheduled for August 1. So the NLC president, Joe Ajero, said the union cannot withdraw from a protest that it did not organize. Exactly. This was contained in a Tuesday press release signed by Ajero titled, The Nigerian Labor Congress cannot withdraw from a protest that it did not uh, organize. So a news report a news report of the withdrawal of the nigerian labor congress from the widely discussed nation national protest has been brought to our attention the nigerian labor congress debunks such a story as patently false okay the truth is that nigerian labor congress cannot withdraw from a protest that it did not organize it is only the organizers of the speculated nation nationwide protest that can decide to pull out or continue with the protest, Ajero said. Okay. So Ajero explained that the NLC has a structured decision making process, which includes internal trade union mechanisms and leadership approvals. That guides okay, that guides its industrial actions such as protest to ensure consideration before taking a action. Yet the fact that the Nigerian Labor Congress is not the body organizing the protest does not mean that organized labor is oblivious of the dead living conditions Nigerians have been subjected to by the harsh economic policies of the government, he clarified. So he said the NLC is standing in solidarity with the Nigerian people in these trying and excruciating times. Ajero also called on President Bola Tinubu to invite the leaders of the protest movement to dialogue on their demands. For we are, who are the leaders? The organizers are faceless. The protest is faceless. So there's nobody to, to, to discuss with. That is the truth. Once again, we employ the federal government and the sub-national governments to listen to the cries of the Nigerian people and do the needful. After all, it is said that the voice of the people is the voice of God, he said. The planned protest has gained fraction, traction on social media where it is trending under the hashtags and bad governance. Okay, hashtag Tinubu must go and hashtag revolution 2024. Hmm. So the presidency and police authorities have called on youths to abandon the plan. Then they, that, that will not go work now. They are not abandoning any plan. That is it. They are not abandoning any plan. So NLC are clarified, they are in solidarity, so that means they are going to participate in the protests, okay? They said they cannot pull out from a protest that they didn't organize. It's only the organizers that will say the protest is holding or not holding again, or that are pulling out or that are standing up or that are standing down. For them as NLC, they have a structured system in place for them to, you know, go through planned uh, actions, okay? Ranging from uh, initiating, um, evaluating, approving and taking action on their decisions so they know how they do their things but this time around these people organizing these ones we don't know them okay and again they are telling Tinubu now try to identify those that are you know organizing this protest discuss with them immediately to avert the danger okay negotiate with them but the ironical thing here is that the organizers are faceless we don't know them okay the organizers are absolutely faceless. We don't know them. So who is Tinubu going to invite to discuss with? They are already arresting people uh, from point to point in the north. Okay, but will that avert the danger? I don't think it will avert the danger. Okay, so I know the government is confused. The only reason they have entered the emergency meeting now is because they don't know who to invite for discussion. Who is leading? Who is organizing? Because people like Charlie Boy, the very dark man, and uh, Shore, they are not the organizers, they are just our supporters. So you can't call them. So who are you going to call now in the north? Are you going to call the Fulanese? Are you going to call the Amajiris? Who are you calling now? Are you going to call NLC say they are not the organizers? So who are you going to invite? The government is absolutely confused. I must, I must tell the truth. The government is confused. Okay. Uh, there are a few comments. Somebody said, 
Wayo government, they will continue lying and trying to manipulate the system. Criminals in power. Okay. Can you can you hear what I'm hearing? Bad government trying to manipulate things. God do. Can you imagine? Agbero chairman as president. You expect many manipulations. They are trying to shut the mouth of the masses, senseless criminals. Does that um, voted him should come those that voted him should come out and protest can you imagine english not be your mate i just pray that nigerian youths will get it right this time around security operatives should respect themselves because protest is the civil rights of citizens during a democracy a democracy or democratic dispensation only in nigeria will police try to stop a protest may nigeria never happen to us <laughs> Ah, uh, now wow. People are right, you know. As the planned protest is majorly being organized by the Igbos, obedient with their sole aim of destroying Lagos, Yoruba land, and discredit the one year old Tinubu administration, the Igbos are seriously advised to go to Igbo state for their protest, as the Southwest will never allow the repeat of Carlo Igbo sponsored NSAS protest, which the Igbos, obedient, hijacked to destroy Lagos in particular. Can you imagine what this one is saying? Eh? Can you imagine what this one is saying now? I'm sure people will reply him. Yeah? Can you hear yourself? You are saying Igbos. Now they don't give up. Say shut up your mouth. You don't know what to say exactly. Okay? Shut up your mouth if you don't know what to say. Eh? Go to your region and protest, not in another man's region. Now your own. Okay. He has collected money. For his elder brother Jagaban, Ogago, and sit down, go and sit down. Nigeria beyond politics. This time, the time is now. When you see the people commenting and their English and everything, self, you fear your head. You will know that something is wrong with this country. The level of illiteracy is so high, and that illiteracy is what is turning them into bigotry. Even though the educated ones again are also bigots, so bigotry. Is, is is a very bad thing. It's a disease. It has never been so explicit like it is now in this present administration. Quite unfortunate, I must say the truth. Very, very unfortunate. Well, Ajero has said his own that, um, you know, they, 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 they are not part of the organizers and they are not saying they will pull out. They are, they are standing in solidarity with the organizers and with the suffering Nigerians because the what is propelling or prompting the protest is the hardship that the current government is putting on people so thank you for listening and let's have your comment over this uh, jero's statement